again, just like what happened in the early attack. The government is not forthcoming with specific details. Firstly, on the actual number of casualties on the Kenyan side in this latest attack. We are getting conflicting figures. Secondly, the circumstances under which this second attack happened. Because we recall that uh, after the El Adi attack, Kenyans were made to believe that the operations of the KDF in Somalia were streamlined to forestall any future recurrence of what transpired at El Adi. Surprising, indeed shocking, that this latest attack has happened in more or less the same man, more or less a similar fashion as the early attack on El Adi. So the two questions come to mind. One, what is the state of preparedness of the Kenyan defense forces in Somalia? What kind of structures and systems and operational procedures have been put in place to ensure the safety of our children who are <coughs> operating from Somalia? What is our strategic interest as a country in keeping our soldiers in Somalia six years down the road? What exactly are we achieving by risking the lives of our young sons and daughters in a hostile territory 